Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to paint on a flower pot. If you've been watching my channel, you'll see that I've been doing a flower pot series. And today, and each time I pick something that um, is a challenge, you know, got a round surface, you don't have um, a flat canvas to work on. So um, the challenges that that brings um, sometimes are kind of interesting. Um, so today I'm going to try a bottle bottom pour over this flower pot and I'm gonna I didn't think it would run over the edge very well so uh, I took these little coasters they're just little wood discs and I painted it white and then varnished it so I wanted the paint to flow and not get hung up on there a rough surface so here is bottom of my bottle and the goal is that it'll flow over and continue to flow down so it's got a couple bumps and I'm not sure how that's gonna um, contribute to the design or not. If I'm gonna paint it with black first just kind of rub the paint on it and let that dry a little bit and hopefully that will help um, the paint not to run off. Be right back. So here I'm just going to put a thin layer of black over the side. All right. Might need some more. Okay, so I let that set for about five minutes. I did pour um, another light coating over the top to give it a more uh, smoother texture. I am getting ready to set this uh, coaster down on the bottom of this. Kind of want to give it something to stick to all the way around. So hold, maybe hold it. I am a little worried about this floating around, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I got one side varnish really well. There we go. I uh, hope this works. So here we go. First color we're going to go with is Payne's Gray. start off oh no it's getting hung up there you go yep that one's going huh this might be very interesting And this is Deco Art White Pearl. And then this is black. Now I have these paints thick. I wanted them to flow slowly and maybe as I get toward the end of this, not run all the way down. Okay, the next color is Deco Art Shimmering Silver. This is so pretty. That looks so cool. All right. All right. So the next one is Decoir Zinc. This is not what I thought would happen, but I am happy nonetheless. I think it is so cool looking. of 
Hopefully that will give it like a shading effect by putting that color over the top of the one just a little bit lighter. Ooh. Get on down there. Okay. Back to the Payne's Gray. We'll do this again. not even wanting to go over. Go! Okay, those two I think need a little more. This one and that one. Okay. Next is the white pearl again. if you don't use too much of the black it kind of leak when the next color comes down over it, it almost makes like a real thin line around it and outlines it I did a bottle bottom pour on canvas and that's the way it turned out on some of the flowers it was really cool All right, is that enough? Oh, don't all that good stuff run off. It's starting to separate a little bit at the bottom and you can start seeing the colors individually now, except there was some really pretty stuff there that just ran off that made me very sad. I didn't look at that much. I will definitely be doing this again. This is super cool. Oh wow, there was a lot went down that one. Oh darn it. Dripped. Mm, I think I might just leave it. And on these last ones, I am, I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Just looking for some definition. And hopefully it won't run down and off. <laughs> and probably the messiest person alive. Before I started, I dumped over half a container like this of white paint, went everywhere, was refilling my Floetrol bottle, and it was running down the side, and I didn't see it, so I had a big old mess there. It was all before I even started. So I think I've let it set for a little bit. I think I'm going to add just a touch of white because it is, it's going to dry dark with the black and I just want to make sure that the colors pop. So we're just going to do just a little dot right in here. So just have a little bit of white coming down. Just make sure it clears the edge. So it doesn't like to do that. And then I'm not sure how long I should let this sit before I uh, turn it 
try to take this top off. I think I should let it set a little bit anyway. Okay, let's see if any of them clear if I gotta add more. Oh, that one did. Yeah, you're not. Okay. You're not. You're just barely. Let's see what you're doing. Nothing! Okay. That should be a little bit better. Like I said, I didn't want a lot to run down. Keep adding more paint to the top. It's gonna. I just need it. I thought it needed a little bit. A little more color. Okay, that should do it. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then ugh, I'm gonna try to remove this um, bottom part without disturbing any of the sides. Might even wait longer than that, actually. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's starting to dry. You can see those colors just blended together. It looks like wood grain. Super neat. I still have the top on. That's super cool. Skins are neat too. Okay, I think that's the last one. Oops. 